Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Now today I want to talk to you about sugar, more specifically sugar in children's diets. To coincide with the anniversary of the UK sugar tax that was introduced a year ago, we have been challenged by Pomegranate to keep a sugar diary for the day. The UK sugar tax has resulted in over 50% of manufacturers reducing the sugar content in their drinks, and that's equivalent to over 45 million kilograms of sugar every year. The Public Health of England is still campaigning for more to be done, and their latest survey has found that over 90% of the public support the government working alongside the industry in making food and drinks healthier. My eldest, who's eight, has had some tummy issues over the last few years, and since then we've made sure that the boys have enough fibre and drink enough water to stay hydrated each day. But the one thing that we've not really looked at is their sugar content. On average, a child would have consumed 18 years worth of sugar by the time they're 10 years old, so it's definitely something us parents need to pay more attention to. Take a look at the food my boys had for the day and see if you can guess how much sugar they consumed. <laughs> Did you know that children aged between four and six should have no more than five sugar cubes a day? And for seven to ten year olds, that's six cubes. Going over what my boys ate in a day, I was really surprised to discover that the cereal that my eldest had contained the whole of his sugar allowance in just that one bowl, which is just crazy. The smoothie that they had for their snack also was full of sugar and contained over four sugar cubes. And again, that's almost over the daily allowance of my youngest, who's six. Some quick and easy swaps I can already see as making is to swap their cereal to Weetabix. I definitely won't be buying that cinnamon cereal again. You tend to think that giving smoothies is a good way of getting fruit into them, don't you? And I usually give these on the weekends as a treat, but I think from now on I'll be swapping them to pomegranate. One glass of pomegranate has over 75% less sugar and is a naturally sweetened drink using stevia. The boys have enjoyed pomegranate so far, so I think these will be a great substitute for those smoothies that were packed full of sugar. My boys also have popcorn as a snack. And we usually give them the sweet and salty version, but actually a quick and easy healthier swap would just be to give them the salted popcorn, um, which obviously has less sugar, and also to reduce their portion size. If you would also like to reduce the amount of sugar your children are having, I'd recommend heading over to the Change for Life website, where there's lots of ideas and resources of how you can make simple sugar swaps. It's certainly been a bit of an eye-opener for me, and has spurred me on into making healthier choices for my family. Thank you for watching.